This is going to be my base sheet for helping me convert from Arabic numbers into Roman numerals and vice versa. Arabic numbers are basically your digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So they're what we're writing in, in usual everyday maths in school. So when we're converting from Arabic numbers into Roman numerals, we've got our base units. We've got our 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. So 1 in Roman numerals is I. 5 is V, 10 is X, 50 is L, 100 is C, 500 is D, and 1000 is M. When we know these, we can work around these to create our other numbers, and from there, we can then start to piece them together like a jigsaw puzzle to make larger or different numbers. So, for 1 is an I, so 2 is simply I, I, 3, I, I, I. Now, when we come to four, we don't say I, 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 although you have seen it, you can see that on, say, old railway clocks. They sometimes have four I's in a row. But at this point, we now say it's one before five, so it would be I, V. And five is V, six is five, V and one, I, so V, I. Seven is V, I, I, five and two. 8 is 5 and 3, V, I, I, I. People often see that because of Henry VIII. Now, 9, again, would be 1 before 10, so it would be I, X. And then that pattern would continue. 11 would be X, I, 12 would be X, I, I, 13 would be X, I, 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 14 would be X, I, V. And we get up to 20, and in this case, we just simply say it's two lots of 10, so it would be X, X. 30 would be three lots of 10, X, X, X. 40 would be four lots of 10, X, 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 X. Well, actually, now we say that it is 10 before 50. So we'd say it is 10 before 50. So 40 would be X, L. 50 would be L, 60 would be 50 and 10, L, X. 70, 50 and two tens, L, X, X. 80 would be 50 and three tens, L, X, X, X. 90, so 90 now would be 10 before 100, X, C, and then 100 is C. When we get to more intricate numbers like 100, 101 is simple, it's just 100 and 1. Something else like 99 though, sometimes people want to put 99 as being I, C, as in 1 before 100, but it can't. For 99, you'd actually have to use your base unit of 90, which would be XC, and then 9, which would be IX. Okay, so rather than doing IC to make it 1 before 100, that wouldn't work. So these are our base units. You can form numbers by going, right, this is 90 and 4, 90 and 9, 50 and 9, for example. All right, into slightly larger numbers. So 150, now we combine the 100, which is C, with 50, which is L, CL. 200 would be two lots of 100, so it's CC. 300, CCC. Now, when we get to 400, it's 100 before 500, so it'd be CD, because we know 500 is D. And then the pattern continues. 600 would be D for 500 and another 100, so it'd be 500 and 100, 600. 700, DCC. 800, D, C, C, C. So that's 500, 600, 700, 800. And then once again with the pattern, 900 would be 100 before 1,000. So 100 before and 1,000 is M. So 900 would be C, M. Okay, and once you know these, now we can form anything that we want. We could say 999. 900 would be CM, XC, 99, IX. So the next two parts of the video will show com converting Arabic numbers into Roman numerals and vice versa, using this base sheet uh, to help me. I'm now gonna convert these from Roman numerals into Arabic numbers, using my help sheet to guide me. Right, so CC, XV, well CC, uh, two lots of 100, so that's 200. And XV, X is 10, V is 5, V 
15, so 215. Right, D is 500. So D and then C is 100, so that's 500 and 100, so that's 600. XL is 10 before the 50, so that'd be 40, and then III as three. So it's five, 600, and 43. CLXVIII. So C is 100, and XL, X, uh, L is 50 and 10, so XL would be 60, and VIII I would be eight. Combine these together, 168. CD, so CD, I can see is 400, because it is 100 before 500. So that is 400, and XX is 20, and IX is nine. So it is 429. D, C, C, L, X, X, X. All right, so I know that D is 500. And then I've got, like the first question, I've got C, C, two lots of 100, so that's 200. All right, L is 50. And I've got X, 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 so I've got three lots of 10, which is 30. So 500, 600, 700, and 50, 60, 70, 80. So 500, 600, 700, and 80. C, 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 that's three lots of 100, so that's 300. L is 50, you can see there. And then V, I, I, five, six, seven. So I make that 357. D, D, X, C, I, I. Right, so I know that D, if I look at my help sheet, is 500. X, C, okay. Now I know that I'm doing, uh, I'm doing 90 here because the X, which is 10, is coming before the C, which is 100. So X, C must be 10 before 100, which is 90. And then I, I is two. So you can see that X, C is 90. So combine 592. D, C, C, C. So D is 500. C, 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 three lots of 100, that's 300. X, X, X is 30, three tens. And then I, V, I know is four. It's one before five, which is four. Now I can combine. Five, eight hundred and thirty four. CMI, okay, we're into the high numbers here. So C is 100 and M is 1,000. Now, because the 100 is in front of the 1,000, we know it's 100 before 1,000, which must be 900. And then we've got an I for one. So this answer must be 901. Finally, C, D, because D is 500 and C is 100 before that, C, D must be 400. I'll double check. Yep, C, D is 400. L is 50. X, X is two tens. So L, X, X must be 70. And then V, I is six. It's 400 and 76. Perhaps the hardest task is turning Arabic numbers into Roman numerals, but it just takes a bit of practice and you can get used to it. The more you do it, the easier it is. So first up, I'm doing 542. Now I know 500 is D, 40. Now I know that X is 10, but I'm gonna do 10 before 50, so 40 is XL. So D, X, L, and then two is simply I, I. D, 
DXLII 542. 226, so 200, 100 is C, so 200 must be two lots of C. 20, two lots of 10, which is XX. And then six is a five and a one, so it's VI. C, C, X, X, V, I. 389. So the 300 is three lots of 100, which will be C, C, C. 89. Now I'd be tempted to say it's one before 90, but 80, I know, must be 50 and three tens. So 50, which is L, and then three tens, X, X, X. And then the nine, is one before 10, which will be IX to the nine. 603, okay, so 600, we're talking about C here, so we need 500, which is D, plus one lot of 100 after that, which is C. So 600 would be D for 500 and C for an extra 100. 603 is simply I, I, I. 467. Right, looking at my help sheet, 400 is CD because it is 100 before 500. So 400 must be CD. 60 is 50, which is L, and another 10, X. And then seven, I know is V, I, I. So 467 is CD for 400. LX for the 60, VII for the 7. 730, and again, 700 is going to be 500 and 2 100, so that's DCC. So 700 is D, 500, 600, 700. And 30 is simply 3 lots of 10, X, X, X. 154. 100, I know, is just simply C. 50. No, simply an L, and then four, it's one before five, which must be I, V. So 154 is 154. 295, I know 200 is two lots of C, that's 100. Now 95, I'd be tempted to put V, C, as in five before 100, but I can't do that. So I need to create 90 first. So 90 is 10 before 100, so it'll be X, C. It's 10 before 100, it's 90. And then five is just simply a V. 871. Okay, so 800 is going to be 500, and then 600, 700, 800. So 800 is D for 500, and three C's afterwards for 800. 70 is L. 50 and then two X's for 60, 70. So L, X, X, and then the one is simply an I. So 800 is D, C, C, C. 70 is L, X, X, and I is the one. Finally, 918. So now, this is the tricky one. 900, remember, is 100 before 1,000. So it's C, M. So the 900 is C, M. And 18, 18 is 10, which is X, and another eight, which is V, I, I, I. So 900 and 10, 18.